Hi, second grade, Mrs. Houts here, and welcome to Grammar. Today is Thursday, October 22nd, 2020. Take a moment to remind yourself, what are nouns? What are nouns? Nouns can be a person, an animal, a place, or a thing. Now, brainstorm some nouns. That means think about some nouns. Think of person, animal, place, thing. Girl, dog, store, laptop. All of those things are nouns. More specifically, we can call these in yellow common nouns. This might sound familiar. We've talked a little bit about this. What's another type of noun when we're more specific, when we give actual names? Do you remember what that's called? Those nouns are called proper nouns. So let's look at our common nouns and let's change them to proper nouns. So girl, if I want to be more specific, I would say the actual name. Um, for example, Nicole. What do you notice about that N? It's capitalized because it's a name. All right, for dog, if I want to be more specific, I can put, you guys guessed it, Mocha. She looked at me when I said that. And I have to capitalize that M because it's her name. Instead of seeing store, I'm going to the store. I can be more specific and say which store. I can say I'm going to Target. Capital T because it's the name. And for laptop, I can be more specific and say the name of it, what it's called. So for example, sorry, I'm running out of space. I can say a MacBook capital M because it's a name. All of these words are proper nouns. We're more specific and give an exact name. Whereas with common nouns, we are less specific. We It's more general. So when we say dog, we could be talking about any dog. When we say store, we're talking about any store. But if we want to be more specific, we can use proper nouns. Sometimes our journeys book or our reader's notebook will actually call proper nouns exact nouns because you are giving the exact person, animal, place, or thing. So when you hear exact nouns, they're talking about proper nouns. So this is actually in your journeys book if you do want to follow along, page 258. We're not going to do everything on here since we just talked about it. But proper nouns are the special names of people, animals, places, or things. Proper nouns begin with capital letters. So this is like the examples that I just did. Instead of saying neighbor, you can say the proper noun the exact name of your neighbor. So Carissa Smith is the example. Instead of saying pet, you can say the exact name of your pet, Fluffy. Notice how all of these proper nouns start with a capital letter. 
A proper noun names a special person, animal, place, or thing. A proper noun is one kind of exact noun. Use exact nouns in your writing to paint a picture in your reader's mind. So if we were to use common nouns, this is what our sentence might say. The man has a garden on a street. It tells us information, but it's not super detailed. So if we were instead to use proper nouns or exact nouns, it would give us a little bit more detail. Mr. Carter has a garden on Oak Street. To practice changing words in writing from common nouns to exact nouns, which is the same thing as proper nouns, please complete page 105 in your reader's notebook. The directions say for you to read the paragraph right here and then use these words in the word box these words to replace the common nouns down here so i'm going to do the first one with you as an example so the first sentence says a woman has a big garden Instead of saying a woman, we can be more exact and put the proper noun, which if I look up here, this one is the one that fits as a woman's name. So I'd write Carol Ack, Atch, and then complete the rest. Please turn in a picture of this on Seesaw. Thanks, second grade.